Anchovy are an important food source for little penguins and other Port Phillip Bay fish. During the channel deepening project, information on the abundance, population structure and distribution of anchovies in the bay is being collected by the Department of Primary Industries, Fisheries Victoria branch for the four-year Baywide Anchovy Study. To understand the population structure of anchovy, each year researchers sample hundreds of thousands of anchovy from the bay. A subsample of the fish is then taken to the Fisheries Victoria Laboratory in Queenscliff for further analysis and ageing. We age anchovy in Port Phillip Bay so we can determine the age structure of the population of Port Phillip Bay. So this includes how many year classes are present and which ones are more dominant and the strength of different year classes. In the laboratory, the anchovies are weighed and their length measured. The fish are then dissected and their tiny ear bones, or otoliths, are removed to help determine the anchovies' age. The ageing of anchovies is a first for Victoria. As never before have anchovies from Port Phillip Bay been reliably grouped into different age classes by studying the ear bones of the fish. Once the otoliths have been removed, they're prepared for ageing, so they're sectioned and placed onto slides. These slides are then viewed under the microscope. Under the microscope, the daily and annual growth rings of the anchovies otolith are counted. This is a meticulous and time-consuming task. This is a sectioned photo of an anchovy otolith. Similar to growth rings in trees, fish ear bones also have annual growth rings. To age the fish, we count the zones from the centre of the otolith out to the edge. We mark each annual growth ring and the edge of the otolith. This fish was one year of age. The 2008 and 2009 results have shown the bay has healthy numbers of anchovy. The results from the first two years of the study have shown that anchovy are quite abundant in Port Phillip Bay. There's four year classes of anchovy in Port Phillip Bay. These range from fish that are less than one year of age up to three years of age. The study runs until 2011 and already its results have provided valuable information to help interpret the results of other monitoring programs for the channel deepening project. For more information on any of the baywide monitoring programs or for the latest results, visit oem.vic.gov.au.